we've both left bleeding a couple times. Uh, really, yeah. definitely sweating. You know, we've had a couple falls, but uh, nothing too major. Nothing too major. No ambulance. No stretcher. I mean, other than uh, a couple of the band guys had a little incident, but other than that, man, it's been uh, we've been real lucky. You know, and as much as we're running around the stage, you never know what's gonna happen. So. Uh, it's been like, well, our uh, Dan Weller hurt his back one night, ended up having to get carried off. So that was, that was a little scary thing. But for the most part, man, we've been we've been super lucky. I know that, yeah, I know a lot of people like to like to hate or love to hate Nickelback, but they they put out some amazing songs, sold a ton of records. I think, just obviously, there's going to be a few, you know, similarities because that's the same person making both albums so it's just natural but uh i think joey does a great great job of uh kind of keeping it separate also and kind of knowing knowing how to add a good taste of something different to country music but not too much and just enough to just enough to tickle the earbud just a little bit you know <laughs> no i think i think it's a good departure from nickelback and i think joey's crushing it in, in the country world and you know he's pro he's proved himself in rock world you know years and years and years and now he's doing the same in country, so, you know, a lot of respect and love for that guy, for sure. Nah, man, people people ask us, you know, they say, is, that, is it more of a departure? And we say it's, it's more of a return, to be honest with you. Um, a lot of songs people haven't heard that me and Tyler have written, and, you know, we grew up on, on stuff like that, and uh, not scared, man. It just felt like the right time for that song, and... Uh, it's about time a song came around like that, man. That's a that's a Garth type song that feels like it's gonna be around and for a long time, you know, that people just wanna scream at the top of their lungs and you know, uh thankful that we got that song. You know what? I don't know if it was necessary, but for us we just we wanted that. You know, we, we heard this song and fell in love with it and uh you know, like BK said, it's kind of a return to, to who we are and, and uh the stuff that we grew up listening to and writing and stuff like that. So it's just a real special song. And, and trust me, there's plenty of party songs on album too to make up for it. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> you know, for us, it was just one of those songs we couldn't wait to get out. And it really just felt like uh, we connected with it so much that we just, you know, we look forward to playing it every single night. And, and, you know, to see everybody else connect the way we do, man, it's real cool. And we're excited about that one for sure. I'd say with, with Luke and Jason, I mean, for the most part, those guys have become good buddies of ours, and we've learned a ton from them. And, and I, th I think, uh, I don't know if they've given us advice directly on that, on that, but we have discussed it, you know. And, I mean, those guys got it figured out, you know, how to have time for themselves to recharge and how to, you know, how to give it all they got when they're given, but then, but then stop when they're not, you know. And, and for us, that's something we've learned, how to turn off the switch for a little while and be home and just recharge and be ourselves and relax and... Uh, that's important, you know, for for us especially to, to be able to go as hard as we go, and then to you got to have the recharge time, you know. Mm -hmm. 